point. Thank you for uh, putting your effort in and coming here and joining us now. And then we'll take a few questions. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you, Showtime. Um, of course, I feel disappointed. It wasn't my night. We have a plan, but I didn't, I didn't make it like I supposed to do. But anyway, it was a tough fight. Uh, I want to congratulate to Clarissa Shields. Um, and that's it. What can I say? I will be back. That's it. Thank you. Do you guys have any questions for Ivana? Go ahead, you're on, you're on your mic. Thank you, Brad. Xavier Porter, BrooklynCards.com. Ivana, how you doing? First off, congratulations. I mean, I know it's a tough fight. You hung in there, you just fought your heart out, you did your best. So, what, what did you, what, tell us if you have a story for coming to the best fight in the world. Well, you know, it was a tough fight, but it wasn't so tough. So, <laughs> I'm still here, I'm standing, you know. I need to give her a credit for uh, a lure shot. I, I think that even she didn't realize that she hit me. It was a first shot, but I still keep moving. After second shot, I knew that I need to stop and take a break because maybe they will stop the fight and I didn't want to quit. So I try my best, you know, it was like, my brain want to do something, my but my body didn't, but there is no excuses. Well, she, she doesn't have a power, you know, she is constantly puncher and that's actually why she is winning, you know, from all fighters, when I fought, the, the the biggest puncher of all of them was Cecilia Brykus. What do you take from this fight? Well, I will take a lot of things, you know, and... Um, first, I need to go and take a sleep, and after that, I will think about different other stuff. Any other questions? <clears throat> Um, yeah. Ivana, obviously this fight was initially yeah. supposed to be in August, so it's been many, many months since it, it was able to be held. To what extent did that delay and build up uh, pose a challenge for you, or, or did it make it more rewarding in any way? Well, you know, it, it's not easy. Especially, I need to change stuff, I need to change coach, I, I change training camps and everything. I can't say it was easy, but like I said, there is no excuses. She was better and, uh, you know, like, I wish that my, my last fight wasn't in December last year. So, that uh, I had more fights between, because even after that, like, when I come back on 2017, 2018, there was, one year was good with free fights. After that, I still stopped, you know, you need to have this experience from, from, from the ring. So, uh, I wish I had fights before, so I'm sure this fight would be much different. But like I said, there is no excuses. I was well prepared. Uh, I didn't make game plan like I supposed to make, and that's it, I lose. Ivana, would you say there was anything that made her special or, or better than any other female fighter that you've ever fought? I think her mindset, you know. I think, like, for example, for me, like I said, she's not the GOAT. Right now, she's good, but if we look like Anne Wolf, I'm sure she's going to beat her ass, you know. But, like I said, uh, she constantly punching and actually that this is what is her advantage. One more in the back, last one. Um, just, you fought two of some of the greatest women, modern women boxers right now. I just wanted to get a comparison between Cecilia and Clarissa. That was a fight that Clarissa wanted. Do you see Clarissa being able to face and beat Cecilia or do you think Cecilia will outperform her? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's different, but um, when I when I fought 
Cecilia, I was at the beginning, I trained only four years, you know. So right now, I, I give, I'm gonna give more credit to Cecilia, definitely. And I know that fight, this fight is not gonna happen 100%, but if they fought, for example, in 147, Cecilia definitely is gonna win this fight. Thank you, Ivana. Thank you. 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 Thank you.